Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, huge video because we're working on the suspension finally for the S5. As you guys know, this is something I've been wanting to do for a really long time. We're finally getting the H&R Sport Springs on the car installed properly. Refer to the description if you are curious about any of like what we're actually technically doing down there because springs are tricky. You can install them right or you can install them wrong and hurt your car over the long run. So we're not interested in doing that. We wanna do it right. So we're taking it to the professionals and getting it done today. So that's super exciting. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit subscribe. We actually just hit 5,000 subscribers. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart so much. That's awesome. 5Ks, you know, a cool milestone. So I really do appreciate it. Like I said, though, we are getting springs on today. So we got a couple before pictures and like shots of the car with the suspension as it is. These springs are promising like a one and a half inch drop, which is probably gonna be perfect for what we're going for with my wheel setup. And then in addition to the springs, we're also doing spacers, but that's gonna be a separate video because we want the springs to totally settle before we modify the wheel setup anymore. So of course we're gonna lower the car first today and then the spacers later on are gonna bring the wheels out a bit more. Just going for that kind of stands to cool look that uh, we want. I've had this car for two, almost three years actually, wow. The suspension is one thing that is kind of not really bothered me, but it's something that like was on the top of my mod list, if that makes sense. So thank you guys for checking out this video. Uh, like I said, subscribe to that like button, like the subscribe button. I don't wanna take any more of your guys' time. So, oh, we are here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm gonna run in and see what Sean wants me to do or he wants me to park and let's get this road on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, got the taxi Uber ride from Mr. C63 over here at Black C63 on Instagram. Go give this man a follow. Gotta have a little caffeine in the morning. Triple shot was the exact same price as the double shot. So you know what we had to do, ladies and gentlemen. That's just called a bang for your buck right there. So we dropped off the car. That's all set. Also got a water because awesome to hydrate got a whole liter aquafina yeah okay we dropped off the car at the shop that's gonna be done hopefully like finished today except i have no idea what i'm doing and like where i'm putting my car for the next four days you know what i'm saying i suppose we'll figure that out when we get there but until then we are headed to the shop the other shop nick's bringing miss henny over just got an alignment because that car like i mentioned is going on the rally instead so that's fun Woo. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know where I left off, honestly. So if you're seeing this, this is just a whoop transition because we just got back from the rally. The springs are on at the S5. The spacers are not, however, because they were late. Not the shop's fault, not anybody's fault. Uh, the shipping was just a bit delayed. So they're being shipped tomorrow. They're probably gonna be here later this week sometime, but it honestly works out because I wanted to do two videos about this anyways. Uh, the springs lowering the car is gonna be this video, clearly. A video in the future, I want to do the spacers because we had to do a little bit more. I wasn't super satisfied with the 15 millimeters in the front and the 20 in the rear. I wanted to see what 25 looked like in the rear and then 20 in the front, which is what I see a lot of people running on 19 inch wheel setups for the S5s. So yes, we're on the way to the shop right now to pick up the S5 with the H&R Sport Springs on them installed. I can't wait. I wanna see how it looks in person. Sean sent me a couple pictures. I don't know, I didn't wanna bother him and be like, hey, send me you know, this angle, this picture. As soon as we get there, I'll film the difference. Obviously, you guys saw what the car looked like before. I'll throw a picture up on the screen. I don't wanna take up any more time. Let's check out what the car looks like right now. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it looks so good. cow what a difference that made ladies and gentlemen this should have been looking like this from the factory i mean it only looks let me tell you in person here it only looks like there's a big gap here because the wheels aren't here so the shadow's kind of going like this but straight on holy moly that looks good that looks 
really good. So, just got the update from Sean. Ignore that, that's gross. Got the update from Sean. The rears are getting 25 millimeter spacers, so it's coming out. The fronts are getting 20, and that will be a separate video. But for now, look how low this thing is. Look how good it looks from the rear. And uh, like I mentioned, this is getting fixed with the spacers, but the fitment of the springs, making it look great. I'm gonna clean the car up, get some actual good photos. I can tell you right now, just from the little drive that I had, I can't really tell much of a difference with like the ride comfort and all that. I know some of the people that get springs complain about that, that it's too harsh of a ride. Honestly, couldn't really tell. I was in comfort mode most of the time, but this is looking way better with the springs on it now. Like I said, h &R Sport Springs. If you guys are interested, I'll leave the link to the exact ones that I have in the description. I need to clean this car. Now that the sun's out, you can tell the little imperfections and dirt spots and water spots. Might take it to the wash, might wash it here. We'll see. Blue Model 3. I like it. Mostly because the color reminds me of mine when it's clean. But I don't know, I was looking at Model 3s and I do like the Teslas. After this weekend though, hearing some V8 screaming, should I just send a C7 Corvette? Yo, this guy is flexing right now. That's like $10 million worth of wood. Oh. Woo! So quick update, they're actually building this mirrored right here. So they're moving all the materials right now and uh, it's gonna look sweet. Let's get to the fun part, shall we? I just washed my car in direct sunlight, which is not how you wash a car, by the way. Huge difference, it looks so good. I should probably move my car actually now that we got a little more traffic here. I'm gonna pull my car into a place where you can see a little bit better, and I'll show you guys just exactly what happened to the car because, wow, it looks good. <laughs> Holy mackerel. I ended up turning the car around so we could get a couple shots with the sun facing it, just to give you guys a little better idea of what this is looking like. Very happy overall with the drop. Like I mentioned, spacers are coming next. We're doing 20s in the front, 25s in the rear, and that will be a separate video. So our fitment's gonna be looking even better. But, oh my gosh, ignore how filthy my wheels look. Those spacers are gonna be looking good. But until then, this is what we're looking like. And it only should be I don't know, three or four days, whenever those spacers come in, they're going on the day they get here. So I think when the sun sets a little bit, I'm gonna get the thumbnail shot for this. Man, look at the difference, guys. I love it, I love it. I'm a happy boy. This is the first time in a long time that I've actually driven my car. Even more so, just like, yep, I know it looks good. I know it looks low. We're cruising, we're having fun. You guys know we just got back from the Rally Kings rally literally yesterday. I slept for 12 hours like a bum, but woke up knowing I had this car ready for me to retrieve. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We just hit 5,000 subscribers. You guys are killing it, you all rock stars. Like the video, helps promote it to other viewers like yourselves who are looking at H&R Sport lowering springs. But ladies and gentlemen, until next time, we'll see ya.